Hello again and welcome back. Mike and Tom share our insights and we welcome you. How are you? I'm great, thank you, Mike. How are you, by the way, viewers? I hope yes. you're doing well. Leave us a comment, let us know how you are, what you've been up to uh, since we um, posted our last video. Um, now, one thing that was interesting to me, Tom, and um, I spoke about it recently, was the power of um, energy and how different people have different energy. Um, and it was apparent when I went to a recent networking meeting and obviously in the networking meeting there's people down there, oh, different backgrounds, different stories, different objectives. Um, but the idea is obviously in a networking, you're coming together, sharing your service and how it could potentially help people in that room or other people as well. Um, but in this particular networking, and obviously there are different formats to networking meetings. You know, some are quite informal where you're just going in and just browsing, sat by a bar, some where you're sat around a table and you have to speak to other people. Others, it's very um, structured in the way you do it. But this is a good blend of this particular networking meeting because there's a social section at the beginning where you're having drinks and just having informal chats. And then something a little bit more structured where you sat down having a nice meal, but you're speaking to people around that table, sharing them, sharing your service and they're sharing their services. One of the things that was struck me was about people's energy. It really, really um, struck me when I was sat there just consciously and subconsciously observing people's energy because some people are there mm. really animated and they're, you know, hoop mm. you know, almost over the top. Mm. Whereas other people are, you know, quite mm. back and they're quite mm. chilled and quite relaxed. Not saying that they're distant in a mm. different way, but it just struck me about people's different levels of energy and the their vibe that, mm. they, that they bring. And it got me thinking about, you know, for people who want to have more energy, mm. the importance of being around people, mm. or being in an environment where people do have energy. You know, for a lot of people, they're busy throughout their working day and they kind of get stuck in this rut of being lethargic, being tired, being mm. you know, low levels of energy. But one of the simple things that people can do to Get more energy is to surround or be around people who Absolutely. are a bit more, more vibrant. What do you think about that? Well, there's a huge secret to this, Mike, I believe. And, and that is that we, when it comes to talking about our energy, or we want to we want to energy we want to have more energy, we want to be energized. The the best way to do that is to make a decision before you meet a group of people, or it could be one person, mm. before you walk into a room, that you are going to transfer that energy, you're going to share that energy with the... Uh, in other words, you're, it's not about you, mm. it's about them. And there's two reasons why I say this. One, if you get, like you touched on it, too much involved in being energised and whoa, whoa, everything's going great for me, you can appear to be a little bit uh, false mm. or po possibly egocentric. So my trick on this uh, is that... that Okay, I want to feel energized. I'm aware that that's something I've got to build, mm -hmm. but you focus on the other person first. Now, that sounds a bit strange. So what you're doing, and I, for example, I met somebody a, a while ago and I just made this decision, but I was actually very, very tired and a bit, like you say, quite quiet, reserved before going into the room. But I decided, do you know what? I'm going to work up some energy, but I'm going to do it so that it makes the other person feel more relaxed and energized and happy. Mm -hmm. And I put them first. And, the, and, and it's like anything, isn't it? It's like when you give a, a gift. Mm -hmm. We give gifts, don't we, at Christmas and birthdays. And we, we give that gift, but we also kind of get a little thrill from it as well because yeah, we're giving. Yeah, and it's yeah. the same with energy. I think to, to have energy, I believe you've got to give energy. Mm -hmm. And it's a cyclic process. And so I did that, viewers. And the other person said to me, Crikey, what are you on? This is a, and started laughing and and, I, and and being and we both started laughing then. And I realised if I hadn't have gone in like that, we probably would have both laughed. And then it all just kind of relaxed and it was all good. And I thought, wow, that's a, is that ever good? That's really interesting. That science in behaviour there. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, be around other people that are energised. But uh, as always, so much of what we talk about, it's it's what you're giving out, mm. what comes back. Come back, yeah, because you have to mirror. So you, we are a reflection and you attract the current frequency that you're, if you're like beaming out or transmitting. So if you want to have more energy, you have to obviously raise your energy and obviously share a high frequency or a higher vibration with those people to, 
to get that same energy. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it, happened in your situation? It's it, yeah. It's it really when you really think about it, it really does boil down to your interaction with with the outside world. Mm. How are you being in the outside world? Mm. Thus, how is that outside world receiving yeah. you? So it, I keep thinking. Well, just go back, viewers, to the Christmas present or the birthday. Just think of that. Put, pushing it forward and going, oh, it's great because I'm giving this gift. Um, and it's for you, mm. but I'm also receiving as well. But if you just have it plainly from what am I gonna get, and if I'm energized, it will make this happen, then you're controlling the situation. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, if you are on your own though, and you want energy, the best thing to do is to dance. Mm. Now, obviously you need to make sure you're on your own because you can look really silly, especially <laughs> I would look silly, I do look silly Unless dancing. you're a good dancer. Yeah, <laughs> um, it, it's hilarious. Um, but you know, get get some music on in the house that you enjoy. Make make sure you've got a bit of pride, and, and just just start to move and, and just dance and just think. You know, well, I, I'm choosing just to dance, and, and then that that could be a great way to energize yourself if you're. Yeah. you're I, I could be anything. You know, anything that you I heard recently that to become more energized, do things that ener energize yourself. Listening to music, mm -hmm. it could be listening to a, a TED talk. It could be something that you've um, getting out some old photographs mm. that you for, for a while. You know, we were talking about it the other day. The amount of photographs we have on our computers yeah. and our memory sticks that we don't yeah. pull them out is incredible. Yeah. But when you do look at back at them, mm. they bring so much joy it does, to you. It does, yeah. So something as simple like that, yeah. you want to bring a smile to your face, you want to feel more energy, think back yeah. at previous memories, um, and that will fill you immediately with uh, with more energy. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, there are thoughts and insights for today, guys. I'm talking about energy and the importance of surrounding yourself with people who have good energy, but also remember to be giving in your energy. Get, taking that time to give the right vibe, the right vibration, the right frequency of love and joy. And guess what? You're going to get that back. So, I hope you found our insights today of benefit, and I'm sure you did. But we'd love you to leave a comment. Let us know what you thought. What do you do to get more energized? What do you do to raise your vibration and feel more joyous throughout your, throughout your day, throughout your week? Leave us a comment and let us know if you found it of use. Again, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. So again, bidding you farewell until our next video. This is Mike signing out and Tony Mallet. Until next time. To your success. To your success.